As a child around the age of six years old, I asked myself and decided then, I asked myself what I wanted to be when I grew up and decided then to be a scientist. This decision led me into an, the study of medicine, but soon I realized that the real need to understand life and the reason I lived wouldn't be solved through this profession or any other, as I could see through the contact with other people. So I started to search these big answers and others in other sources of knowledge as different religions and philosophies with no satisfactory results. Until one day, already a little hopeless, I got in touch with a book that introduced me to the real causes of the present culture failure. The lack of these three factors, the lack of self-knowledge, the lack of cognition of the mental world which, with its great influence over human life, and the lack of the knowledge of universal laws that ruled the whole universe as well the human life. In this book, I was introduced to a new science with an original method of self-investigation which required, since the beginning of the study, that its teachings should be necessarily proven in the lives of their investigators before accepted as a truth. In other words, that I should experiment what I studied in study what I experimented. That is, I was facing a pure science applied to the transcendental field. I felt so much security in this author that I immediately started the investigation and proved its teachings. So I was invited to review concepts as the one that I was unable to understand and change myself, as I've been told before. On the contrary, Logosophy taught me to recognize the thoughts as the silent agents of my behavior and that I could learn how to act and silently, inside of me, change these thoughts. The effort for self-knowing has been one of the biggest experiment field in my life. And I have proven that changing thoughts means changing attitudes, behavior and the content of life. Another big question I had since a child was the reason people were so different from each other. Even brothers, created from the same parents in the same ambience. Why were people so different? Some with very good conditions and others with very poor physical or mental conditions. I would say, it's God's will. And it seemed to me very unfair. This statement has alienated me from God at that time and I could not see justice and kindness with a situation I saw in the world. Through logosophical study, I was introduced to the knowledge of the universal laws as evolution, heritage, correspondence, time, movement, cause and effect, etc. By studying the law of heritage, I realized that everyone inherits oneself every day. And this inheritance manifests during one's life existence, being increased every day with one's attitudes, good or bad. Teaching this reality to the young people would prevent many moral deviations with consequent suffering. A new concept of God is being formed in myself as long as I understand this universal loss and can see its real justice and kindness, because everyone human being, man or woman, woman has an intelligence and sensitivity which allows to investigate and understand creation, beginning in oneself, which allows self-redeem 
in the construction of a better life, having the access of a real fountain of knowledge as Logosophy opens to humanity. If you like, share it and watch the other videos.